Howdy folks, I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade. Welcome back to Battle Station Pacific. Let's do the first battle of Guadalcanal, November 13th, 42. Let's select it. Henderson Field survived the onslaught, but the enemy aren't giving up easily. A Japanese back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. ...ships is on the way, and they've dispatched a battle group to attack the airfield again while the forces come ashore. We plan to hit their ships en route at Savo Island. Nice. All right. Find the Japanese Bombardment Force. IJN stands for Imperial Japanese Navy, in case you were curious. Find the Japanese Bombardment Force. Sink the enemy flagship ship Nagara. All right. Avoid losing five or more American ships. Okay, I'll try that. Hidden objective. A quick strike could save your ships. Okay, that's not very specific. All right, we have Atlanta, Northampton, and Clemson for us to start, but we get upgradable units. We can upgrade the Cleveland to the Atlanta, and we can upgrade the Fletcher to an Allen M. Sumner. Okay, we can only unlock one upgradable unit. So let's see, do we want the Allen M. Sumner? Um, Fletcher's a destroyer, and usually it just upgrades the same class of ships. It's not like I'm going from a Fletcher, or not like I'm going from a Fletcher, which is a destroyer, to an Allen M. Sumner, which is a which is a battleship. That's not what we're doing. It's usually just an upgraded destroyer. So I want the Cleveland or the Atlanta. There's a light cruisers. I'd rather have heavy, I'd rather have better light cruisers, even though I only get one, I only get one of those. And five destroyers. Yeah, I'd still rather have the uh, Atlanta. I'd rather have the more powerful light cruiser over multiple better destroyers. So yeah. Which will give us actually that'll give us two Atlanta will give us two Atlanta class um, cruisers there. Along with with five five Fletchers, a Northampton and Clemson destroyers. Anyway, so we'll have like seven destroyers on hand and two two cruisers. I'm okay with that. Let's go. Here we go. November thirteenth, nineteen forty two, between Guadalcanal and Savo Island. Looks like this is going to be an evening time battle. Sir, the fleet is maintaining twenty knots, sealing and visibility unlimited, and there's no sign of the enemy. So we wait. Where are they, though? Intelligence is earmarked tonight for the attack. And it's only a matter of time before we get to spring our little surprise on them. Position crossover friendly unit control friendly controllable unit and press Y to control it. Enemy vanguard ships ahead. Good. Hit them hard before the rest of their fleet arrives. All right. We have the San Francisco, the Cushing, the Laffey, the Atlanta, O'Bannon, and a Fletcher. I right, look like they're coming from this direction, so you and you go this way. I'll control San Francisco. DD, an unknown destroyer. You can always tell what type of ship it is by the by. You see, what we're looking at unknown here in the middle of the screen. You see the circle that says DD that identifies the type of ship it is. DD is a destroyer. I didn't mention this during midway. DD is a destroyer. CL are light cruisers. CA are heavy cruisers. CV or CVE are usually carriers or not usually are carriers. SS is a submarine. Usually you don't see those identifications on ships. You don't see those identifiers on airplanes or uh, land installations. All right, are they in range to fire at us? Are we to fire at them? Nope, not quite. Yudachi and the Inazuma. All right. What if we do this? Let's have our bat. Let's have our destroyers lead. Mm. Yeah, let's have the cruisers go together. Cruisers are going to go together, and the destroyers are going to lead the pack, are going to lead the party. You follow him. You follow him. And you follow him. The cruisers will stay, maintain their own uh, separate party. I like that idea better. Damage, right, let's make a right hand turn here. And unload our cannons on this destroyer. Watch for torpedoes in the water. 
And the Udachi is down. Set our rudder here. And focus some more fire on the Inazuma. So don't see any torpedoes luckily so far, so we're doing good. And almost. There we go. And let's see the destroyer. Okay. Now destroyers keep on cruising. Whoa, there's a fleet. Where's my other cruiser? Move to take on this ship, because that looks stronger. Meanwhile, I'll handle San Francisco. The Japanese main force is approaching, sir. All vessels, hold formation. Enemy ship in visual, sir. Yep, there's a heavy cruiser right there. I recognize that uh, uh, that profile of heavy cruiser from uh, Silent Service 2. Alright. Our target is going to be that, the Mogami right there. There's another heavy cruiser following up behind it, it looks like. And with the destroyers take the lead on that uh, heavy cruiser. Enemy ship in visual, sir. Sir? I think we've found the enemy flagship. You think? Not good enough, First Lieutenant. Tell me when you're sure. Uh, uh yes, sir. It is the Japanese flagship, I'm sure. The Yamato? Good. Then we have our primary target. No way. Oh, the Nagara. Okay. Not the enemy flagship, I was thinking. Maybe they just mean the flagship of the... It just means the, the flagship of this of this group. There's no way the that's the flagship of the actual entire fleet. Uh, improved repair team. I won't worry about that until I need it. All right, I want to have him continue to take on uh, the Mogami with torpedo with, with the that ship. We can control the O'Bannon here. Switch to torpedoes and just fire every torpedo I've got in that direction. I'm sure it'll, the torpedo will hit something. Typically the AI won't fire, AI controlled allied ships will not fire torpedoes on their own. I am firing torpedoes all over the place, I'm loving it. And now they need to reload. <laughs> Sir, fire has broken out on board. Alright, let's switch back to the San Francisco, to control of it here. See all, those, see all those, hope those torpedoes did some damage, because I, I, I fire, I fire a spread, I fire a spread. <laughs> I spread those torpedoes out. <laughs> Mogami's almost down. Alright, Atlanta, head for the, uh, for the Nakara back there. I'm gonna lose my destroyers here. Unless for some reason they seem to be standing still targets, I can't figure out why. I can make these guys move toward the uh, the Nagara. Can you switch to the Cushing? Proved repair team. There. That ought to help. Enemy vessel is heading for the bottom, sir. Enemy vessel is heading for the bottom, sir. Bombs are overwhelmed, sir. We're sinking. Lost one. That's all right. Let's not collide with our own ships. Uh, 
go, 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 go. <coughs> well, that uh, destroyer is leaning pretty good. Oh, that destroyer is sinking. Alright, here's the Nagara. Let's get around here and get those torpedoes on it. Let's turn left here. Fire torpedo, fire, just unload them all. Look at all those torpedoes, they explode on which side. 66. Enterprise, this is USS Portland. We're chasing a lone enemy ship towards your position. Finish her off and join forces with the USS San Francisco. Got that, sir. <laughs> a lone enemy ship, sir, no kidding. The enemy flagship is going down. They're taking out a, a tiny little destroyer. Confirmed. Absolutely, sir. She's finished. And we've broken the Japanese formation. They're turning and retreating. Got them with that one. All right, now what? All right, everybody, where's the San Francisco? Okay, San Francisco. All right, there's Laffy line up with him. Fletcher line up with him. Atlanta line up with him. San Francisco. Oakland line up with him. And San Francisco. What are we doing now? What's our naval supply? Sir, Hard armor. Cool. Enemy vessel bearing three five zero, heading right for us. Any specifics? We're trying to identify it. It's big, though. It's a battleship, no doubt. How big? Oh no, it's a battleship. Damn it! Well, let's give it the welcome it deserves. Where? Where? Battleship. Hey, I, 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 whatever you call it. All right. Oh, it's coming in behind us. Those are destroyers, Aaron Ward and Starrett. Come on, come on, watch every ship head toward it. Attack it. Come on, Twains to Attack it. No. Attack it, okay. Attack that. Okay. All that's left is that one. Okay, attack it. Okay. Control of uh, control of destroyer here, as I want to load torpedoes on it. Dude, this is my strategy for taking on on battleships: is torpedoes. And actually, battleship is not as big as I was thinking. It's uh, this is a a uh, fuso class battleship. I think it's just a standard. I want to say standard. It's a smaller battleship. Still nothing to be fucked with. I mean, it'll still fuck you up if you're not if you don't if you try if you jack around with it. Yeah, there's the fleets coming from that direction. If he starts firing on me, I'll and use this hardened armor uh, perk that I got. But I don't think I don't think he's firing at me right now. It's like he's taking on whatever that one is over there. I should probably go ahead and switch to it, because it's closer. Yeah, let's do that. No engines to move. Okay, fire. Alright. Torpedoes. Start unloading on it. Alright, everything I've got at it while I'm still sitting here before I become a pile of metal at the bottom of the ocean. Hope that was enough. Where is it? I mean, none of those torpedoes hit. Oh, there they go. Oh, something hit.
flak. I'm really just firing flak at it. <laughs> that was dumbass of me. I just try to avoid its fire the best I can. course that's going to go on. Pretty sharp turn. That might be good enough. Somebody's hitting too. That's good. Oh, I got more torpedoes going away. Okay, good. Let's release. Shoot them all. Oh, I'm stopped. Firing, okay. Firing, keep firing, keep firing. Well, some of those we just have to hit. He's trying to try to avoid him. Something hit him. Yeah, he's going to turn to avoid most of them. But some of them did hit him. Those ones on the right are going to hit him if he turns into them. Yep, he's going to turn into this torpedo there. There's one there. Alright, he's going... He's, he's losing health. Maybe not enough to sink yet, but... Nine. Seven. Ouch. Four. One. Got him. The enemy battleship has been destroyed, sir. That was the last of them. For now, anyhow. Who? Victory. And boy, we deserve that, sir. Yes, son. Yes, we did. But they'll be back. They'll fight to the last ship. And there it goes. <laughs> Nice and slow. <laughs> Almost all the way under? Almost. <laughs> like watching them sink sometimes. The Japanese troop transports were forced to hold position after the failure of the bombarding task force. They know they'll need to strike much Unlock the Iowa class. if they want to land their men on Guadalcanal. We sank a good number of their vessels during the operation, but they'll be back. Guadalcanal is an important stepping stone for those crossing the Pacific. Alright. Sink the honey within five minutes. Okay, good. We did that too. Nice. Alright, continue. Combine fleet combat and I see a submarine on the picture. I'm happy. Battle says combine fleet combat and eliminate the enemy forces of Guadalcanal. Nothing more to say there. Oops. Second Battle of Guadalcanal. I see a submarine. I see a submarine. I hope I'm in control of the submarine. I hope that's not a Japanese submarine because this is a Japanese submarine. I can't control it. And that would suck. Anyway, we'll do the Second Battle of Guadalcanal in the next episode of Battle Station Pacific. I love submarines. Sorry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching and tolerating my bullshit. I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade. I'll see you later.